Hello, 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 everybody. Did you miss me? I missed you. It's so good to see you again. Hello and welcome to my very first episode, I think. I've been doing a lot of live streams. Well, I think we're up to 153 at this point. But yeah, I've been doing a lot of live streams. But I wanted to create some content for people that, you know, just kind of want to vibe and chill uh, on YouTube. So I'm planning to do a series where I do a bunch of quests um, and... You know, just try and chill and provide a very nice and low, relaxing voice for you to do various things to, such as, you know, work on tasks or do that, you know, bit of laundry that you've been meaning to do for like the last three weeks. <laughs> I don't judge. I have so, so many things that I need to be doing and I'm doing none of them. Um, but yes, hello. Uh, today we're just going to be fucking around on the left, so let me... Just bring us over to that. There we go. I am using my OBS setup. Um, we are going to pick an area. So we're just going to be doing a bunch of side quests through here. We're going to clear this whole area of side quests. Uh, and then move on to the next bit. As you do. Ganu Valley is looking to the skies with a smoldering gaze. Brazen Vundu tribe goes too far. Nestlings of O.K. Zundu suffer under violent storms of abuse. Nettling defends nestlings of O.K. Zundu. Helps scatter Vundu tormentors to the wind. However, Nettling must not attack Vundu directly. Like all Vanu, Vundu ride wings of Senua Vendu. Vundu. Slay three, and Vundu lose wings to torment Zundu nestlings from. I kind of regret this already. <laughs> I'm already tired. This is possibly a bad call. <laughs> Tribe of Zandu faces great distress. Inu Valley makes foolish requests of Nedaling, like asking her to stand on mountain during thunderstorm. Nedaling steals into OK Vandu like silent breeze, makes away with her supplies. Nedaling can only carry so much. Three baskets enough. Hinu Valley makes dangerous request of Nedaling, but fate of Zandu tribe relies on success. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I will not make you guys watch me complete the quest unless there's actually, you know, stuff in it. Um, but yeah, we'll just be kind of vibing. You know what I mean? Just chill. Okay, Zandu's got talent. Ganu Vanu has a mischievous glint in his eyes. Ganu Vanu must try again, but knows not what satisfies Elder Shaman. Maybe. Yes, Nedling. Ganu Vanu knows. Ganu Vanu follows in father's path and fails, but next will try mother's path. Mother offers vegetables like Unlike any other in O.K. Zundu, quells Elder Shaman's thunderous hunger. Every moon, since Mother's offering, Elder Shaman asks if she grows more. Ganu Vanu brings vegetables as offering and grows from nestling to adult. Ganu Vanu and Nedling face one problem. Vegetable seasons is moons away. Plant seeds now and stalks grow slender as new moon. Luckily, Ganu Vanu always plans ahead. First, Nedling must dance in front of Elder. Show him your culture. Dance until wings, wind goes from lungs, then meet Gunivanu under shade of our first meeting. Now go. Dance like sun never rises again. Why am I helping you? Gunivanu up to old tricks again. We dance. <laughs> Anu Vanu busy with ceremony preparations. No time for Nedlings. Ah, but she dances as a leaf which flutters in a gentle breeze. Nedling's steps soothe Anu Vanu's weathered bones. Could Nedling show more of her people's dance? Oh, I need to actually select you. Here we go. Cutscene. I love the I love the dance, I do. <laughs> Netherling's delicate and airy steps make Anuvanu's heart race like summer squall. 
Almost worthy of Vanu Vanu initiation, she is. Dance of Okezandu is tribe's pride, brings all closer to heaven. Since Nedling dances for Anu Vanu, Anu Vanu dances for Nedling. Anu Vanu's dance riles Nedling's imagination. Look well, and behold the thunderous dance of Okezandu. Oh dear. No need to ask Nedling's opinion. Expression tells all. Ah, dance reminds Anu Vanu of nesting days. Why, when Anu Vanu nesting... Oh, where is Ganu Vanu? Nettling brings supplies on Zephyr winds. Is weight of three too much to bear? No, I'm pretty strong. Ah, Nettling carries salvation to tribe of Sundu. Tribe forever in Nettling's debt. For many moons, Zandu tribe gives offerings to Vandu, guarantees safety of tribe from violent storm of aggression. But tribe of Vandu fickle like summer breeze, attacks innocent Zandu tribe as mood dictates. Since offerings mean little to Vandu, Hinu Valley decides to take back offerings. With Nedling, Nedling's help, stores of Oke Zandu are restored, just as bountiful harvests after lush rains. You're welcome. You are most welcome. Nedling, Ganu Vanu's plan works perfectly. He knows Anu Vanu falls into fervor during dance. It seems Nedling does too. Yes, plan is Ganu Vanu's most clever idea. After Mother's offering of vegetables, Elder Shaman grows own crop. All Ganu Vanu does is seek silence as the midnight moon into Elder's heart and feast in glory, Nedling. Vegetables grow plump and fresh. Prove Ganu Vanu too good for nestlings now. Ganu Vanu no longer the laughing stock of, stock of tribe. You stole from the elder? Steal? No, 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 no. Nettling, Ganu Vanu borrows vegetables from elder. Nettling, come now. To show offering to sh elder shaman. Do, 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 do. Respectful and benevolent elder, Ganu Vanu returns at last. Even waxing moon envies fullness of today's offering. Well, well, Ganu Vanu makes, finally makes splendid offering. Vegetables plump and ripe, like first rain cloud of new season. Such treasures rare in Oke Zandu, but something about these vegetables familiar. Ah yes, same as Ganu Vanu's mother brings, and Anu Vanu knows they grow not for many moons. If Ganu Vanu lies again, he accepts failure for trial. Ah, uh, but vegetables come from Elder Shaman's secret supply, Ganu Vanu. Thinks Elder's wife might also want to know where such ample feast comes from. Ooh! Are you gonna blackmail him? Wait, how does Ganu Vanu know about secret supply? What secret supply? Elder? Well, since Ganu Vanu fails trial again, then he must return vegetables to Elder's wife. Wait, Ganu Vanu, if you help keep secret from wife, then failure of trial washes away like tears in the rain. Anu Vanu lets him make one more offering. Elder's kindness is boundless as sky. Ganu Vanu brings even more impressive offering next to Elder Seas. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought was gonna happen, not gonna lie. <laughs> oh golly. Okay. Ganu Vanu knows not what to alpha Elder next. Only one idea can Ganu Vanu think of, but fills heart with fear darker than the blackest storm cloud. Nedling remembers Ganu Vanu's brother, yes? Brother completes rite of passage by soaring on wings of Senua, mounts which Vanu ride to traverse wind currents. No other choice is left to Ganu Vanu. He must do as brother does. But Ganu Vanu raises not his own Senua, and to tame wild Senua more difficult than to quell summer monsoon. And Ganu can do neither. But Nedling's strength can lay low the white himself. Nedling helps capture Senua, and Ganu Vanu mounts it to show he too holds sway over the forces of nature. Nedling worries not. Ganu Vanu always plans out every step. Meet at the blue window. Ganu Vanu goes ahead for Nedling's safety. Oh boy. Dark winds bode ill for tribe of Zandu. Nedling must help. In Kromlek do cursed totem poles lie. Strike down four of them to stave off the ill fortune they pretend. 
Okay. Ah, Nuddling comes at last. Ganu Vanu brings something that helps capture Senua, makes it obey like newborn nestling. Behold, Senua reigns. But wild Senua, fierce as monsoon reigns, even Nuddling cannot hope to capture wild beast. But use these reins on already tamed Senua, and it obeys all commands. Gano Vanu cares not to show how El Elder Shaman how to capture Senua, but to ride Senua gracefully, a seed floating on gentle breeze. Once Elder sees Gano Vanu flit elegantly amongst along wind currents, how Senua is captured matters not. Even Elder could not make a more perfect plan, or you could just do the thing. <sighs> All right. Look, Nettling, train Senua is near. Gano Vanu knows task is dangerous. We'll not judge if Nettling wants to quit. But if Nettling finds courage welling within, bring Senua here once Beast calms down. Oh boy. Oh, we're just gonna nick this one, huh? I mean, sure. I do like these things. They look... What n Nettling dares steal, my dear Senua? I'm sorry! I am sorry. Gazes coldly in your direction. I'm sorry. Yeah, that seems fine. Does Nedling capture Senua, or is Wrath of Beasts too great? Nedling actually catches Senua? Her strength rivals that of the greatest Zondu warriors. Ah, now I must ride, Senua. What? Of course Ganu Vanu can ride. Even newborn Nestling can ride tame Senua. But Ganu Vanu must ask Nedling to wait while he remembers lessons. Ganu Vam Vanu remembers Senua fangs jagged like forked lightning with roar that bellows like looming storm cloud. No! Ah, Nedling. Ganu Vanu thinks Elder Shaman calls. Yes, let us go see him. Can I just... The sunny is now calm as a still night air. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that here. That seems fine. Ah, Nettle Link. Gunu Vanu apologizes for making haste to Elder Shaman's Roost. No time to ride, Wings of Sanua, but Nettle Link no need not worry. Let Gunu Vanu do talking. Noble and benevolent Elder, humble nestling Gunu Vanu asks again for honor to give offering. Gunu Vanu comes again! This time with hands as empty as Sunscorch does it. Ah. But offering stands before Elder. Gunu Vanu teaches this Nedling ways of taming and handling noble Senua. Yes. Gunu Vanu's wisdom and kindness more bountiful than summer rains. With this offering, culture of Okezandu okay spreads farther than rays of morning sun. Ganu Vanu's beguiling tongue may work on fellow nestlings, but Anu Vanu will not fall for such tricks. Can Anu Vanu touch wisdom? Can Anu Vanu see kindness? Such offering Anu Vanu does not accept. But Elder Vanu, Ganu Vanu, still simple nestling, understands not subtle rules of tribe's trial. Fault not on him. For that, Elder give Ganu Vanu one more chance. <laughs> Vanu, ne Vanu never flies anywhere if scales as slippery as Ganu Vanu's words. Very well, Gunny Vanu has one more chance, but if Offering fails once more, then forever, Nestling, he shall remain. Oh dear. Hollow winds blow over Okay's undo no longer. The fortune of tribe shines bright as sky after thunderstorm. This means Nindling rinse island of the cursed totem poles. Totem poles honor names of great ancestors, so they remain in Vanu Vanu, memory like undying sun. To curse a totem pole and possess it with dark magic sullies the memories of the tribe's heritage. Nedling restores some esteem to tribe's ancestors. However, Nedling must remain vigilant for sake of all tribe and all Vanu Vanu. Is all out of ideas and second chances. Try as he might to think of the next offering, Gunu Vanu's head remains empty like cloudless sky. Only one option remains. We go to brother, who advises Ganu Vanu since day as newborn hatchling. As certain of Wheel of Nature turns, he gives advice for next step. Oh, I don't know. I bet I can give you advice. Do the thing yourself, instead of getting other people to do your work for you. 
I don't know. Maybe that'll help. Ooh, a cutscene. We love cutscenes. Zephyr winds bring Netherling back to Ganuvanu. Brother tells Ganuvanu of help he receives. Our family is indebted to you. However, it seems Netherling's deeds cast long shadow over brothers. He can only boast that he sneaks into Elder Shaman's hut. Perhaps silence is his gift? Ganuvanu moves calmly as midnight moon. Even Vilekin stir not at his passing. Ganuvanu even eats brother's food when his eyes are turned. Ganuvanu steals from brother too? Well, Vanuvanu not choose family. Hmm. But perhaps this skill can prove valuable to the tribe. Ah, Ganuvanu knows. Black ones who live to the east have many treasures which glitters like stars in midnight sky. If Ganuvanu steals one and offers it to Elder Shaman, passage is assured. Brother speaks of nedlings which attack village with ferocity rivaling Vandu. Elder Shaman calls them Garlu? To sneak past nedlings much more difficult than to sneak into his heart. You can do it. I believe in you. But Ganuvanu not, loses not his final chance to escape doldrums of nesting life. Courage swells like roiling thundercloud. Yes, Ganuvanu steals Garloon treasures. Garlion. Nedling accompanies as witness to Ganuvanu's bravery. Come to where the Garloon tribes rest. Ganuvanu waits in the darkness of shade. Finally. I don't actually have to do anything. At last... Ah, Nedling comes to gaze on Ganuvanu's courage. Galoon's within sight, but many more than Ganuvanu imagines. But Ganuvanu not run. Look, treasures shine like fallen stars. But Galoon stand and weigh. Nedling, distract them with, as with Elder Shaman, this time with Dance of Wrath. Create chaos among Galoon's and hide Ganuvanu's approach. Ganu waits here and calms the storm of fear swelling in heart. Go, like monsoon winds. Ganuvanu breathes deep, moves soundless like cool autumn wind. Nedling fells Garloon's, but too quick. Ganuvanu needs more time to snatch Garloon treasure. Silent movement requires finesse and time. Nedling strikes down more Garloon's, provide fog of chaos to hide Ganuvanu's approach. Feels weird just slaughtering these people, not gonna lie. It does seem a little bit weird, you know? Ganuvanu becomes like silent wind. Ah, Nedling fells Garland troops already. Vanuvenu not ready. Must wait for perfect moment. Once more, Nedling, show Galoons no mercy and give Ganuvanu time to sneak. I swear to fucking god. Nedling's distraction lets Ganuvanu sneak unseen. Behold, Ganuvanu plucks fallen star from sky. Elder Shaman surely lets Ganuvanu pass trial now. Nanunoki Zandu possess such a treasure. Now, let us ride the winds to the Elder's Roost. Finally, you've done something for yourself. I'm very proud. I don't know why I'm so mad at him. <laughs> oh dear. Ganuvanu approaches with flustered breath and disheveled feathers, but from dangerous journey or long nap, Anuvanu knows not. Does he hold something of value? Remember, Nestling, this is last chance. Noble and benevolent elder, Ganuvanu brings other offering like none other. Behold. What did you actually steal? <laughs> offering surprises even elder shaman, yes? Ganuvanu sneaks into Galoon camp unseen and unheard and brings Zandu their greatest treasure. Oh, such material does not exist in OK Zandu. More sturdy and solid than Totem Pole with strongest magic wards. Zandu legends tell of enormous flying beasts which cover the lands in midnight shade. This must be its feather. For bringing such precious offering, Ganuvanu completes rite of passage. Ganuvanu deserves title which befits its deed. For as long as rising moon follows setting sun, Ganuvanu shall be known as bringer of shade. At last, passage is complete! Ganuvanu, bringer of shade, no longer oldest of nestlings. But now, Ganuvanu wants nothing more than to rest. Trial snaps all energy from Ganuvanu.
Leave further hard work for nestlings. Gunivanu, bringer of shade, must find a great tree to nap under. <sighs> Even though no longer nestling, Gunivanu still shies from work. Nettling, tell Gunivanu browse. Gun yeah. Even though no longer a nestling, Gunivanu still shies from work. Nettling, tell Gunivanu's brother of his success. Finally, his heart may be free of worry. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Nettling. News travels as fast as Springgale. Gunuvanu passes trial. But Nettling knows Gunuvanu as well as any Zandu. Change does not come from many moons, if at all. Gunuvanu hopes passage of right gives brother courage to grow into responsible Vanu Vanu, but must remain patient. Nevertheless, Gunu Gunavanu owes Nettling much and more. May Nedling go forth with Zephyr Winds at back to guide through journeys safely. Nedling always welcome in OK's undo. Fuck yeah, we are. Do do do. Okay, so. Not too shabby. Got a couple more quests to do in this area. This Vanu Vanu is in an embarrassing situation. Yeah, no shit. Nedling, help! The triumph of Vundu means to make sacrifice soon. Grant freedom before Vundu Shaman returns. Poison from fiendish Vundu courses through veins, prevents all movement. Nettling, ride on fiercest scale to Anuvanu in OK Zundu for antidote, and return here before ceremony of sacrifice is finished. Okay. I can do that, I guess. We're also going to pick up this quest over here. The Zundu Intelligencer has need of a sneaky adventurer. Ah... A nettling walks amongst the tribe of Vundu. Zephyr winds bring her during my time of need. Zundu spies purge like hawks to gather information on Vundu tribe. Information which much must reach Chieftain of Oke Zundu. Nettling is trustworthy enough for such an important mission. Three spies keep keen eyes amongst the surrounding area. Fly as Sanua between their perches and lend ear to their words. Then report news to village chieftain. Sounds good to me. Spymaster asks for a report. Very well. Vanu Vanu of Vundu tribe hold Nettling prisoners, and their cries ring out like distant thunder. Bring information to Chieftain before harm befalls prisoners. Aww. Snow. Vundu always on lookout for faithless Zundu tribe members. Attempt to sow seeds of discontent which grow into betrayal. Vanu of OK Zundu must remain vigilant. Keen ears, Miss Nort. Vundu tribe holds many prisoners. Their cries echo in the night from all directions. Chieftain must help rescue prisoners from clutches of villainous Vundu. Vundu tribe means to sacrifice innocent Zundu. Tribe of Vundu goes too far this time. Hurry, Nettling. Take this antidote to fellow Zundu and free him from dreadful poison. Of course. And now we report to the Chieftain. Ah, huh. Nettling brings news from spies. As storm clouds give way to sunlight, our path becomes clear. Although time is short, rash action will create inescapable storm of consequences for OK Zundu. Nettling, speak not of the words you hear today until time to act arrives. For your spies only. Here. I'm here to help. Nedling's courage remains reliable as setting sun. However, poison takes time to flow through body and lingers as a scent brought by gentle breeze. For now, I hide and remain quiet, away from cruel eye of Vundu tribesmen. Tell Anu Vanu to send Sanua. Poison should run its course before Steed's arrival. You, mm, you couldn't have told me that before? No, no, let's do this the hard way. I was all the way over here and I didn't do this quest. The fuck? Da -na 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 -na. Zephyr winds bring Nettling to help. Please, Nettling, shatter manacles as lightning breaks rocks into pebbles. If Nettling possesses not the strength to break the manacles, then black armored Nettling certainly carry key. Find it so I can return home. Okay.
Finally, I can return home on wings of freedom. Thank you, Nedling. Meet again in OK's undo. May Zephyr winds guide you. Sounds good to me. No, no, no! This will not do at all! Ah, just the woman I was hoping to see. I need your help to fortify our dwindling stock of provisions. Our supply of meats is particularly low, but flesh from the wise ants should hold us over until the next shipment of provisions comes in. If you can bring back four slabs of their meat, it would help us immensely. You can find them north of the camp at last step. You have so many soldiers, why am I? And the war is over, why am I the one getting you your fucking supplies? But sure. Because I can't say no, apparently. Oh, I have to kill- I have to kill these things? This feels bad. They leave much to be desired of taste, but we're in no position to be particular with our food. Were you able to retrieve their meat? Yes. Thank goodness. I can breathe easy the next time I take inventory. I'm honestly not sure where we'd be if it not if not for the wise ants grazing north of here. And to think they're not actually indigenous to these lands. They were originally brought here as livestock for just such an emergency. Given time, we will have sheep as well, but we've yet to breed stock suited to these altitudes. But enough of my rambling. You have ensured my men will not go wanting for at least another few moons. If we should have need of more wise ant meat, I know who to call. You're welcome. I've had great ideas in my day, but I must say I've truly outdone myself this time. No doubt you're curious as to what I'm planning. Well, not long ago, I discovered a scattering of gastronous nests east of the Rose House. If you could retrieve a single egg from the nest for me, all will be made clear. You're going to have chickens. That's what this is, right? I just have to get... It's just chickens. Were you able to procure an egg from one of the nests? Yes. Oh, it's still warm. Excellent. Eggs will make an excellent addition to our stock of provision. Don't be silly. A single egg cannot feed the entire camp. But once I've hatched and raised a gastronomist of my own, we shall have all the eggs we could ever ask for. Yeah, thought that was coming. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ah, thank the blessings of the heavens that our tribes made us safe. Anu Vanu sends swift to Sanua on Zephyr winds to the Crumlek. Once again, Nuddling, okay, Zandu is in your debt. You are welcome. See, it's nice to be appreciated. Black armored Nedlings become bold and as hungry Endemon in recent days. Nedling deserves gratitude of whole Zandu tribe. Ah, oh, yes. When giving report to Chieftain of my return, Chieftain says he wishes to speak with Nedling. Best not to keep Chieftain waiting. His anger would scare even the morning sun. As moon brings light to the blackest night, so you have come. Nedling, your people are in danger. Vandu came unseen like summer rain to steal three Nedlings. They are trapped, hanging in cages like ripe fruit. You must seek them out and warn your people. Zandu cannot show hand against Vandu, but we will guide you, like gentle breeze pressing on Nedling's back. Go quickly to OK Vandu and find other Nedlings. It's nice to actually have assistance for once. An adventurer? This is the last place I wanted to be found, but I suppose there's no sense in worrying about things now, is there? Leave me be for now. This situation calls not for a single woman's bravado, but patience. There's My life is in no immediate danger, so there's still time. It's funny to me that they don't have guards for these. Like, I feel like there should be guards, but there aren't. You've come to help, but it's not safe. They could be watching us even now. I can stand to wait until a more opportune time presents itself. Aww. See, they're nice. Gods be good. Captured by the Vondu. They've grown bold to reach so far into Zandu territory. I will deploy my men at once and see to their rescue. 
This is where they placed men they deemed not fit for the war with dragons. But I'm starting to think we've merely been tossed from one war to another. To our benefit, we have an ally in the Zandu. I will have to find a way to thank them properly. You too have my deepest thanks, Lith. We'd have lost a great many men by now, if not for your help. You're welcome. Do -do -do. Okay. That is all of the quests in this area. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed this calm little video. Um, and I hope that you will enjoy the future ones. Make sure to drink water, eat food, take your meds, and do not, under any circumstances, lick the demon that you summoned to piss off your neighbours, because as we all know, consent is indeed consexy, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>